Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Aquarius for November of 2020. I'm sorry for my little break in October, had to recharge a little bit. Let me know in the comments below, were you feeling a little burned out? I did do a video on that last week. You can find that on the YouTube channel as well. But really, you know, five planets in retrograde, Mercury retrograde started a lot of uh, feeling of tiredness and depletion. So I wanted to take a little bit of time out for that and really kind of ramp up November. So um, if you haven't heard, I have a brand new course out called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are looking to really connect to your higher self and learn how to manifest the life that you want, I teach you all of my secrets of how I actually manifested this house, I manifested my dog, and financial freedom as well. So you can check out um, the details in the description box and the comments below. And early bird pricing does end on November 1st, so make sure you get there quickly. All right, let's see what we got going on. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified when, and the little bell notification so you can get notified when I have new videos coming out. And like I said, I go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on this channel. All right. Wow. Lots of good stuff happening here. So the overall energy that we have is the world card. So I feel like the world is yours. If you want it to be is what I'm hearing. So do you want it to be yours? And what does that mean to you is the question. Because we've got the seven of cups in the beginning of the month with the two of wands and the nine of wands. Now, seven of cups is about choices. Um, two of wands is about which way are you going and then the nine of wands is what is going to be the most the path that's going to leave you in the most confident powerful energy okay so really lots of questions this month is what I'm getting for you so really kind of be aware of there's not just one path there's multiple paths for you and they're making me feel though like no matter which path you choose it is going to bring you closer to whatever you want out of this world card here. So just remember that their message to me is like, don't be set on one way. Open your eyes to different possibilities. Okay. So that can resonate if you're in a relationship with someone and you want to get married. Like it might not be the person that you're with. It could be somebody completely different, but you're set on one way. Um, if you're in a job and you want to get that financial freedom, um, it might not be what you're in. It might be something different. So really just pay attention to other possibilities and ask the questions. Ask the important questions. We're going to get some, to some question cards over here. But in the middle of the month, you got higher font. You've got the five of wands and you've got the wheel of fortune here. I'm feeling a lot of resistance this month. A lot of doing things that you don't like to do. Um, because you're making this commitment, you've made like a commitment, but it's, it's kind of causing a lot of conflict, either inner conflict or conflict with other people, but it's definitely causing some conflict and it's getting some things going here. And I do feel like whatever, whatever this is, and I feel like I'm a little all over the place. So that might be how you're feeling this month, but you've got the five of swords. So I'm just going to read it and then I'm going to tell you the overall gist. The Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Cups. Stabbed in the back, moving forward, lots of love, all right? So what I'm getting here for this month for you is that you've got choices to make and that I feel as though you've committed to something that isn't making you happy. And there's a lot of conflict in that and it's getting the ball turning here, getting this wheel turning and this Wheel of Fortune but you end up either stabbing somebody in the back or getting stabbed in the back. A little bit of shadiness here, all right? They're bringing my attention to either a relationship that you might be in that you're staying because you think it's the right thing to do or because you do want to lead, you know, like they're making me feel like maybe you're at that age where you've got to get married and you got to have babies. And if you don't stay with this person, then how are you going to start it all over? And that's really kind of what they're bringing to my attention here. So, but what they're showing me is that when you do stay, there's a lot of conflict and it's going to kind of turn into 
what you didn't want anyway, where you feel stabbed in the back or you stab somebody in the back, but there's a lot of moving forward. And what I'm going to say to you, and again, however that resonates, it could even be with work, but it all has to happen. It all has to happen is the message that I have here because it's going to make you a better person and it's actually going to bring you what you want. So whatever you're in right now, okay, and again, these are general readings, so this is a very specific message that if you are in something and you are happy, um, that is great, that this message is not for you. So check back next week or check out your moon and rising signs. But the message here is for the person that is in something that has made a commitment to something that feels trapped or stuck in this. So again, work, love, relationship, whatever. And you're staying because you feel like you have to in order to get what you want. And that's not the case. And I'm feeling like, because they're bringing my attention to what I went through, where the universe steps in. And that might be here when you're feeling the stabbed in the back and moving forward. But everything has to happen the way it's going to happen. So don't try to force anything. Um, let it all kind of unfold naturally. But overall, know that, and this could have happened already, but like know that everything that's happening is going to lead you to what you ultimately want. Okay, but it's not what you think right now. Okay, it's not the, um, the catalyst is not what you think it is. All right, I'm going to, they're telling me to put, I'm not sure, two or three, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so there's definitely going to be a new beginning here. So we've got the tradition card here, nostalgia, nostalgia and reflection. So again, look at what's really happening here and let go of the memories. A lot of the times we hold on to things because of how long we've been with something or someone, but let go of that because you've got the fool card, which is about taking that leap of faith, about taking chances. So make sure that you're, you have your eyes open here. Again, two paths. Maybe it's the path that you're not even thinking of yet. And then you have the emperor. It says masculine influence and power. So realize, I, I feel like this goes along with the king of cups here, who basically you know, knows what he wants, lives his life with love, is able to, um, I'm just getting the word peaceful. So peaceful, I'm getting the word peaceful resolve. So like resolving things in a peaceful manner rather than conflict and fighting. All right, so just realize that you have the power in this situation to whether accept it, to move on from it, to deal with it, but ultimately you have that choice. All right, these are my Soul Truth uh, deck. Love this deck. Love questions. So here we go. <laughs> All right, what question does Aquarius need to know for the month of November? I like this with this reading. So we have what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships. And it says to create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. Today, and that's exactly what I was talking about here, is staying committed because you feel like you have to. Um, so know where they end and where you begin. Today's soul action. We separate our energy from others. We gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. So I love this because this is about energy and about clearing your energy and about knowing what is your energy versus what is other people's energy. So really getting clear on that of how that feels. If you're at, if you're saying to yourself, I don't know how I feel, then that is telling me that you have somebody else's energy on you. And as an empath and a codependent, we want to take on everybody else's problems as our own and try to help and try to fix. But creating boundaries around these people um, 
isn't doesn't mean you're a bad person. It means that you're taking care of your energy first. And your energy is more important than anybody else's energy. Because when you have good energy, you can then help other people. You cannot keep helping other people at the detriment of yourself. Okay, so this is what this card is saying. Uh, today is my, it says, then, then we stop. Okay, let me read this again. So the soul action. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. You, There's people in this world that can help other people. So you do not have to fix everyone. This says anyone, but I say everyone. Okay, It's not your job or your responsibility. Today's mantra. I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. So I hope that resonates with you. But the main question is, what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? All right, very important question to ask. So I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And again, if you'd like to join my program, Unleash Your Divine Self and Master Your Abundance, early bird pricing ends on November 1st. You can get the link in the description or the comments below. I want to say have a wonderful month here. Stay strong and really reflect reflect, 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 and ask yourself these questions and ask, are you in something? Are you committed to something that's causing you more harm because you feel like you're stuck or that you want the outcome of it, even though it might not be exactly what you want? Those are the questions to ask yourself this month. All right. Much love to you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.